this is Chiron Intuition and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. We have the Empress here. Okay, that could be someone very fertile or pregnant perhaps. Let's see what this is. We have the Lover's card. Okay, we got Gemini energy. So we got Taurus and Libra and Gemini. And we have the Ace of Cups here. It looks like someone has found a good partner. I mean, plainly said, someone has found a good partner or someone has found a good connection. Like a very healing connection. Look at that, the sun card. Oh my goodness, somebody really could be pregnant here. Like... Let me get something with this lover's car. Also Leo energy here. We got the nine of wands energy. It's like it's a power couple. It's like y'all are very strong together. Y'all are very protected together. It could even be the people of this empress's kingdom it could be those people that are protected or those people that are having opportunity hmm like you know how somebody okay it might not be this but you know how some people can have like a like speed dating or something like that where somebody could set some shit up for people to come and like mingle and see if there's a connection it i don't know why that flashed in my head but that's something too but I'm getting that like whatever this relationship is, it's like a it's a it's looks perfect to me. I mean, like, you know, there is no such thing as perfect, but I mean, like it look oh fuck. Why we had to get this nine of sword here? Why we had to get this nine of sword? What is somebody so worried about here? You got the nine of wands and the nine of swords here. It's almost like like someone could have their guard up against like it could be somebody that wants a child here. It could be somebody like the relationship. Somebody really seems like they seem like they're a good match. They seem like they're a good um, choice, but maybe they don't want children or something like that right now. Maybe that's not on their radar right now. Maybe they're trying to avoid that. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing it just like that. And then you got the 10 of wands. That's I really feel like somebody doesn't want to be they don't want to be locked down right now. They don't want to have that responsibility right now. Like somebody really could be worried about this. I don't know if somebody's already pregnant. I don't know. But if they are, somebody is really up in their head about this. Somebody's trying to figure out like, this is a hard situation because I really think there is a strong connection here. I really do think so. Let me, okay. As soon as I was about to say it, what is this? We have the eight of wands and the five of sword, like as if something sprung up on somebody very quickly. Like this happened very quickly or this is coming out of nowhere very quickly. This is some type of, it's like a conflict right here. This is very challenging mentally for somebody. Like they don't understand how this is happening or how this, like something is moving too quickly for them or maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's what they have a problem with. I mean, these two cards, I'm guessing this is on top of the Empress right here. Like there really may be an issue with how fast something is moving.
we have the seven of pentacles here with the lovers card like it feels like really somebody has tried this many times or they've been trying or they've been trying to find somebody or they feel like their time is running out or let me get something with this um this seven of pentacles here we have the moon card like almost like a hidden agenda that's not successful or something like that i don't know i'm starting to feel like like i ain't trying to say nothing like you know do what you do that's your business but i'm getting the feeling of somebody that like really they i don't know do you really want the relationship or you just want the baby i don't know that's what i'm saying like it's none of my business but somebody feels like this might not be the best thing for them like if that's the case here you have the six of pentacles here on top of the ace of cups like it's like i feel like somebody strongly feels a chance with you like where things did not work out they feel like it would work out with you except maybe there's something that you don't want or you don't like or you can't handle or it's just not for you because you got the nine of wands the nine of sword and a nine of i mean and a ten of wands like after all of this good energy and then you have the eight of pentacles like it's almost like somebody is seeing more like <sighs> somebody could be seeing and it's also could be somebody that already has a child it could be and maybe somebody doesn't want that responsibility but it's like the love between y'all is very strong or something like that we have the queen of cups here on top of the sun card and the only other cup here is this ace of cups right here like somebody i really feel like there's somebody standing out to this empress like where that wouldn't normally be the case like somebody could light up somebody's life look at this the lover's card somebody could light up somebody's life somebody may not have expected to fall in love they may not have expected a lot of damn things that's happening right here. Let me get something with this nine of wands. We have the devil energy here. Yeah, somebody does not want to be tied down. They don't want to be latched on. They don't want that kind of connection. Because that's like binding. Like once you bring a child into the world, like <laughs> it's here. You know, it's something like that. I don't know if this person wants to. Like they may feel like this Empress energy is like too much or something like that. Like maybe this Empress energy is like perhaps a little bit older, like maybe just like a little bit older. I don't know, maybe a lot older, maybe a little bit. I don't know. But it looks like the devil and then the page of pentacles here. It's like somebody's guarding something here. Like they feel like they have to be on guard about something. Because it's like, I just feel like, <laughs> like if you look at somebody like how, oh my God, I don't even want to say it like that. Like maybe somebody's looking at somebody like a piece of meat, you know, like, oh my God, you are like the perfect you know this that and the third and it's like they really have their mind set on you and they're really like latching to you before anything and maybe they started talking about having kids and they look maybe they just maybe it's just a lot and too fast it's a lot and it's just too fast like there may even be an imbalance here you have the strength card on top of the nine of swords here Um, there's a possibility somebody feels like they're being forced into something or they will be forced look at this and then the three of wands here like someone's gonna be forced to move forward 
there could be a Leo involved, a Gemini, a Capricorn, a Pisces. Okay, did I say Taurus and Libra? Oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to shuffle. But look, it's the Ace of Cups again here. But then it's the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Like, I guess that's a opportunities. It's not an opportunity like how this, this Empress thinks that it is. I'm sorry to say that. Like, sometimes it's very one-sided. Sometimes we want something really, really bad. And it's really not meant for us. And it's okay. Like, it doesn't make this person a bad person just because, you know, maybe they don't want to fall in line with a plan or something like that. Like, let me get one of these. Let me see. I'm going to pull one right here. What does it say? It says surrender. Sky dancers. I'm almost like somebody needs to, like... Like, maybe surrender to the idea that you can't force something. What does it say? Overwhelm and plenty. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like doing too much. Let me get one more. And it says fortune's will, luck and right timing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like somebody's time is going to come. There may be somebody that wants to get pregnant, but it's like you can't go about it. I mean, unless you just want the child, but it's like, I don't feel like this person just wants the child. I feel like this person wants the relationship too. But the other person wants the relationship, but they don't, they're probably not ready for the responsibility of all of everything here. It says radical acceptance. You see what I'm saying? Radical acceptance. This is a lot for somebody. This is a whole lot for somebody. Okay, I'm dropping cards. What does this say? You see what I'm saying? It says foundations, four of wands, and it says moving on, six of sword. Like, I just, I'm sorry for this empress. You know, I really, like, I feel like this empress is looking for love or they've been looking for love for a very long time. And it's like, you really can't force, you know, something to fit. You really can't force it. You can't make somebody into something that you want them to be if they're not willing to be that. You know, it's different if somebody's trying to, you know, meet you halfway. And that's why I say I feel a really big imbalance. Like, I need to see an emperor come out here. I don't see nothing like that. I see the devil energy and I still feel like it's kind of a toxic behavior towards someone else here. Okay. But yeah, foundations and achievements and moving on. Like somebody's going to give up their relationship because somebody, something has moved too quickly. We have recognition and reward here. Three of Pentacles. Wow. Three of Pentacles is also some type of goal. So someone could be moving on to do whatever it is. Maybe they wanted to do or it could even be an air. I mean, an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. They could be an earth sign. But it's like, I don't think they're going to get what it is that they anticipated. You have the Empress again, fertility, like somebody probably wanted, you know, the whole image, the whole picture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. I'm dropping everything again. You see? And then these are the two cards that I seen first. These are the ones that was up is the five of cups and the star card. Like somebody really had high hopes, but it looks like they're not getting what they want and then what it's another card i can't reach it look it's the damn sacrifice card it's the the what you call the hangman and it's the lover's card harmony the lover's card is out here three times like somebody i'm telling you what i be feeling somebody is leaving this relationship because they can't handle what all of this all of this is a lot to them it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, imagine being an empress and then, like, you know, you fall in love with somebody that can't really do the things that you need or you want them to do. Like, what do you think they're going to feel like? What are you going to make them feel like at some point? Like, somebody doesn't want to go through that. Even though y'all have a strong connection or y'all have feelings for each other, feelings don't mean that it's going to work. You can have feelings for somebody that's a dog every day you can have like having feelings is a whole nother thing 
having a connection is a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? But actually doing the work, that's a whole nother ball game. That's where people get it twisted. Like, is this person going to, you know, that's the lover's card. Is this a good choice? Is this person going, you know, get us where we need to go? Do we have some type of trajectory? Do we have some kind of plan? Are we going somewhere? Or do we just love each other very much and we just like to be around each other? We like to sleep together and stuff like that. Like, what is it? Are we working on something? You know, what is this at the bottom? You have the six of pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity here. And I believe we had another six of pentacles. I don't feel like looking for it. But I know we had another one here. Let me get one more here with this um, this sacrifice, this hangman energy here. We have the seven of pentacles once again. And we had the seven of pentacles up here. I think with the, the lover's card, it's like it just never gets to where like somebody does work or they work on something for very long or they do something nonstop and it's just like they feel like it's not paying off and then you got the tower card at the bottom disruption it could be really hurting somebody really like breaking somebody down really like making somebody evaluate who they are or something at the root of them it's like somebody could really want something to work and it's just really not meant to be like to be honest with you 100 percent empress and emperor and i've said this many times before i believe that they stand alone i believe that they come together not for what everybody thinks they come together for divine feminine and divine masculine it's not just about sex there's a big purpose. These two energies, they are appointed for a reason. Sometimes you are an empress and there is no emperor for you. You have to just do your job. You each have a job before you even get together. Empress and emperor, they didn't just get put there. They had to earn that. They had to like, that's a title that is bestowed, that's given, that's, you know what I'm saying? And I really think like somebody's trying to make something fit that don't fit. It's like what you need, you have not found it yet. So don't try to make something fit because you're going to be disappointed. Whoever this is, whoever this is, let me, you know what? I'm going to pull a few of these. It says breakthrough. Like there could be somebody that's realizing this. Maybe you're realize like it's a shock to the system with this tower card here. <clears throat> it's a shock to the system here. Like somebody's really trying to force something here. It says divine timing. That's another thing with this wheel of fortune. Like your time will come. You will have what you want. I don't know when. I can't give you a time frame. I can't say, oh, it's going to be a week, a year, or it's going to be next life. But it might just be. I don't know. I do not know. But, like, you can't keep hurting yourself. Or even hurting others or something like that. It says healing, inner work. That's why somebody is standing alone right now. This may be a period of healing. It may be a period of just being patient and loving yourself. You know, loving yourself, finding yourself. Like there's a lot of work that we could do on ourselves before we even combine with somebody. Look at this at the bottom, say truth. You can't spell truth without Ruth, justice. Like it'll come. It says fears and this is a mirror. It's like shattering. I don't know, maybe somebody fear being alone or something like that. It's like you're not alone. You're a whole damn empress. Like revel in your on your damn throne. You get what I'm saying? Be abundant. Make things beautiful. Smell good. Look good. Feel good. Do all that good stuff for yourself. And don't sell yourself short just because basically motherfuckers is not ready. <laughs> I mean, it, what else? Just don't do it to yourself. Don't lower yourself. Your time will come. It says journey, ascension, like do your healing work. 
None of these cards are talking. This is a relationship deck. None of these cards are talking about their relationship. It's talking about your breakthrough. Because somebody, look at this. It damn near looked like clay or hard something. And it's like there's a sunflower bursting out. This must have been hard to find. Or somebody's been looking for themselves. Somebody's been trying to find themselves. And it's like it's just not the time. Look at this renewal. Somebody has to be stripped down to the bottom and you got to build you got to build yourself up outside of a relationship. You may be somebody that maybe you did have what you would feel was an equal at some point, but maybe that was not. Maybe you outgrew that. Maybe you started waking up. Maybe you realize you deserve better or something like that. But this is about renewal. You know what I'm saying? It's about the self. This whole reading right here. The lover's card came out damn near three times and nothing on top of the lover's card was positive. We have vulnerability and freedom. And what's this? Forgiveness and understanding. That may be from the universe. It may be that kind of energy where it's like, we're sorry we couldn't bring your significant other in at this time. But that will happen one day. Like you just have to have faith. But you damn sure can't lose yourself. You damn sure have to keep, like I said, looking good, feeling good, doing good. Keep yourself up even if you're waiting on that divine partner. Maybe they're just not ready at this point in life, at this point in time. You know, I can't always promise that these people will come into your life in this life. Sometimes they didn't even come back with you. Sometimes they have to go through their own shit in their own realm so they can learn their own damn lesson so that when they do unite with you, it's ready. It's about being ready. It's not about, it's about a lot of things. It's about being ready and about going further. It's not just about getting together and being together. There's a mission that divine masculine and divine feminine have. It's a mission in the world, not just a personal y'all two. It's a mission in the world. It's a big thing, okay? I'm gonna leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.